Okay, so today we are going to be learning how to take cabaret net and add piping or binding pieces to it. You can call it piping or binding. So let's get started. First, I like to use my Juki for this, just so I know it's like real secure. Um, I would prefer to use this over my serger just because it's a little bit easier to manipulate this fabric. So go ahead and line it up. I like to line it up just with the edge right here. I usually use um, one and a half inch binding piece or piping piece. And then right here, what I do is I add a little bit of slack, just usually about an inch. Go ahead and pull this back. And this is definitely a lot easier to like manipulate this uh, rather than running it through a serger. So I go ahead, just run this all the way through. And as you can see, you can kind of move it through here. So I stick that back down. And then I like the back stitch. And then we'll go ahead and add another piece just so you can see. I also like to have it where cabaret net, when you stretch it sideways, it goes like this rather than this. So it's easier if you're gonna rhinestone it. I think it just looks a little bit better. Go ahead and add this piece just so you can see it this way. Backstitch. And then to make them all even, I do the exact same amount of slack over here. Go ahead and pull this. And then I just run this edge, both pieces of fabric, run it under. And you can do this with your regular, your regular Lycra's or Millie Skins, not really sure how to pronounce either. So bear with me. Run this through. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the rest of them and then I'll show you how I go ahead and finish the binding piece. So now that we've got all these added, and take this, make sure my thread is back correctly, and then we are going to fold this. So we go make these even, and then you'll just take this and fold it over. Okay. So make sure that these are all tucked in. You can also go through and cut all of these off on the inside. It kind of lays a little bit flatter, but honestly, I don't think you can really tell in this. And I just run this through. And what I line mine up with, I think it looks best if I line it up in the middle of this piece. So, just continue to run this through, pick it up, continue to fold, make sure everything is folded real nice and neat. These two line up. And then run it through. Okay, so now what we're gonna be doing is attaching the other side. So once we've trimmed this, I'm gonna find the side. So this one, make sure it's face down. Make sure we're doing that back stitching. And we're gonna be doing this the exact same way. Now, once we're done with this, go ahead and pull this out. I'm gonna take this, go all the way down to the other side. And 
And then we're gonna be adding this. Okay, so we're gonna do this the exact same way as the other way. Just reverse, which is how you would do it any other bikini top. to trim off all this excess. All right, and then let's do this last final step. Okay, so we're gonna fold it just like how we did before. Make sure all of that's tucked up in there. Go ahead and trim that, trim the other side. And then we're actually not gonna be folding these over and making them like normal bikini tops. I will be adding a designer band like one of these. Obviously not those because they don't match. But, to see the finished product. So it'll look better once everything's all stretched out. All right, thank you guys.